everyone so today we are solving this problem find if array can be sorted so here given a zero index array of positive integers nums in one operation you can swap any two adjacent element if they have the same number of swap bits means if two two elements are adjacent we can only swap them if needed only if they have the equal number of ones if we represent it in term for in, in form of binary or representation okay so you are allowed to do this operation any number of time including zero if don't need so we have to return true if we can sort this array using these swap operations otherwise we have to return false we will explain this with one example for example let's say we have the array like this 1 8 and 4 right so in 1 8 and 4 if we represent in terms of binary these would be looks like this 0 0 0 0 uh, 0 0 1 for this guy right and uh, for 8 we can write it 1 0 0 0 and 0 and for 4 we can write it like this 1 0 0 now you can check one thing that all of them have only one bit set okay there is only one bit having one this also one this also one that means swaps are allowed so if we swap these two guys okay then we would get is uh, we will get immediately one uh, sorted array right because these are eligible so it would be look like one four eight okay so uh, we can make the swap basically only when we have the uh, same number of bits so for example if this example had this was like this we can take a different example out of it for example this was like one five and four right so if we do one five four this guy have one bit this guy has different bit right so uh, we type 5 has what bit it has 1 0 uh, 1 0 1 right so it has two bits so we need a swap here but we cannot make that swap because this has two bits and this has only one bit so we cannot uh, sort this array so we have to return false here okay so these kind of scenarios we have so uh, now we can have further more scenarios let's take a better example to explore more out of it so for example this is our uh, new nums array so here we can observe one thing all these three guys are having only one bit set okay only one bit is set there if we talk about these two guys uh, both of them has the total number of set bits are three okay so anyway we can make a swap here and uh, means the if we have consecutive same bit sets okay so in that case we can make a uh, uh, swap to make them sort so this portion can be sorted right because they have the same number of bits now this is also a portion which is also having the same number of bits three right so anyway we can sort these portions but we have to take care whether these are the correctly placed or not so, so for example if we sort these portions we can observe here it would become like 148 right it would be this this would be 148 and this would be 1314 after sorting right so this would be looks like 1314 that means it is fine because the minimum of this portion the minimum of this later portion is what minimum is here is 13 right so min is equal to 13 of the rightmost portion and the max of this leftmost portion what is the max of it max of it is 8 okay so we have to compare between the max of the previous group and the minimum of the uh, current group in this case if we are coming from left to right this would be a new group current group right so minimum would be 13 and the maximum of the previous let's say i am calling it previous max okay so previous group max is 8 so even the minimum of this group should be greater than the previous max then it makes sure so first of all we have to group together uh, whoever is having like same number of bits like in this case consecutive 1 8 4 all of them has 1 then this guy has 14 13 all of them has 3 that means it makes sure that we can do the swap so this gives a confidence after making swap we can sort them basically but only thing is we have to keep track the minimum and the maximum from every group okay so that wherever we are getting a new group we have to compare that every time our minimum of the current group should be greater than the previous max if it is not the case then we cannot sort it so let me take one example for example i am also adding here seven okay so seven is also the having three bits only right 
so what will happen here so let me let me clearly write the bit set if some of you are confusing here so 14 it would be having like this 1 1 1 0 this is 14 then for 13 it would be like 1 1 0 1 okay and for 7 it would be 0 1 1 right so you can observe here all of them has 3 bit only this is 14 this is next one is 13 okay this is our 13 and the final one is our 7 so they are coming for the same group so with the swapping we can do but see here what would be the new minimum if we add 7 so minimum of this group would be 7 right so let me put it 7 now in this case look at the minimum of this group and the maximum of previous group basically minimum of this group is basically smaller than the previous max so this gives an idea that we just cannot sort in this way because this 7 has to come before 8 but they are coming from the different set bit group so for that reason we just cannot so in this case we have to return false right if this is not the scenario throughout the array then we can say that yes it would be sorted or it would be sorted so we can return true so this is what we have to do now let me tell you what would be the my approach here approach is very simple so guys you can observe here we have four variables previous max so initially i am putting the minimum value every programming language has the minimum value of an integer right so i am initializing this and current minimum so because we are starting from here so current minimum we are giving the very first guy which is one okay and current maximum also very first guy because we don't know so initially we are starting with the very first guy and current bits in one how many bits only one bit right so we are starting with these four variables now we are going from uh, here okay this is eight right second location we are starting now our traversal okay so we will check this is eight right so what would be the current minimum so in one and eight one is still minimum right so it would be one only what is the current max 1 and 8 what is the max max would be 8 here and how many bit current bit is still 1 right that means it is this guy is only still in the same group so we will keep it as it is okay so we are still having current bit equal to 1 so our group is still not changed now we're coming to this guy 4 so how many bit this also have the same bit 1 that means we are still in the same group right so we are still in the same group that means we have to look for the current min so current min is one is still smallest one so we will take it one only and eight and four so current max would be still eight because eight is greater than four so this guy would be still eight and current bit anyway we have one only now we are coming to this guy 14 so how many bits it has so it has basically uh, three bits right see here it has three bits that means this is a different uh, bit group so whenever a bit group is changing what we have to do we have to update this previous max because this group is done right if this group is done we have to check what is the previous max previous max would be our 8 right because in this in this group 8 was maximum so we have updated this previous max with the max value okay now we will go to this group so this time because we are at 14 right so current max would be as it is right current max also would be 14 only current uh, yeah current min is 14 current max also 14 because this is our new group is starting and we are at the very first guy right and current bit is uh, now 3 because this is a 3 set bit right so what will be the next we will go to 13 right so how many bits it has 3 bits that means nothing is getting changed it has 3 bits so uh, what will the previous max is because it, previous max is still 8 because we are not changing the group okay and current min would be 14 and 13 what is the minimum so 13 would be minimum so we have to put 13 here and current max 14 and 13 what is max 14 so it would be still 14 only okay and anyway we have the uh, bits equal to 3 only now uh, we are we, we are done with this guy now we are coming to the final guy okay so so far whenever we are coming like we came to 14 so 14 is also greater than the previous max right we are checking every time the previous max so when we came 14 we updated current min current max current weight and we checked whether this guy so current min is greater than uh, previous max or not so it was 14 right current min so this is greater than so everything is fine then we came to 13 we updated all these things and current min was still greater than 8 previous max right so we, we were fine now we were coming to the 7 
so this is uh, three only so same bit set now current max would become what current max is still 14 but what would be the current min here current min would become 13 and 7 which is minimum 7 is minimum but now here when we will compare this 7 with the previous max basically it is greater it is smaller than this 8 so whenever we are finding this condition that current min is smaller than the previous max then we have to return what we have to return false because in this case we just cannot make it sorted because of 7 so uh, we just cannot make any swap would not be possible which make this nums as the uh, sorted one but in the case if this 7 was not there we were happy to do that because in that case what would happen our everything was fine right our this thing our minimum was uh, what was the minimum our minimum was 13 and 14 for the new group which was always greater than the previous max in that case it would be true right so i have taken both kind of example so this would be our approach now let me show you my corresponding code for it so see here this is my code here so initially this is my previous max right so initially i initialize it minimum value and this is my current max with the first value and current min also with the first value and this is the set bits this third point here this one current bit or set bit you call it whatever you want so initially we started with the whatever bit count set bit count has the first correct first value in the num sorry then see here we are starting from the second location i equal to one till end now see here whenever we are having the same number of set bits that means they are from the same group just like we are doing here one eight and four they were every time coming with the same number of set bits right so in that case what we are doing we are just updating what would be the current max and what would be the current min okay if we are finding something which is different right means a different group like this we achieved when we came at 14 we found a different set width which is of the current set width having three so that means whenever going to this else part means we are going to a different uh, uh, set of group so see here we have put this condition that if current min is less than previous max then we are returning false otherwise what we are doing we are just making that previous max equal to current max okay just like we were doing here when 14 came then we made this previous max equal to current max right which was current max at here and then we are counting the set bits that what would be the new set bits so we are updating here like we've updated here 3 when we found new one and uh, current min would be initially we are starting with current min equal to num psi and current max also equal to num psi whenever a group is changing so this else part becomes when a group is changing like in this case when we came at 4 and when, when we reached at 14 the group was changing right then only we came to this else part okay so finally what we are doing here is once we are done if anywhere this condition we have found like in this case when we were adding here 7 then this condition was found so we returned false okay otherwise if everything goes fine we are coming out of this loop we are doing this that current minimum should be greater than previous max right because for the last condition we have we haven't checked right till that time our loop was closed so that is why if current minimum means the last group whatever it is if it is greater than the previous max it would be true otherwise it would be false so let me try to execute my code so i am running my code yes so it is uh, accepted let me try to submit it so i am submitting it yeah so it is 100 percent faster so we are having the like time complexity is o of n because we are going in single traversal and the space complexity is o of one because we are not getting any extra space other than these certain variables so thank you for watching this video and if you guys have any concern please make a comment over there